Welcome back, art students. Okay, so um, we're still continuing our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired um, collection of art. And I want to also show you more paintings that she did. These are pictures of fossils, um, bones of animal fragments, okay? And she even painted animal skulls. Pretty cool. This one right here is a skull of a horse. Okay. Ooh, this one's really cool. See all the antlers? I think that must have been a deer. Pretty cool. There's a bone on the ground there. Do you see that? Okay. So for this one, we are going to draw an animal skull, which I'm so excited. I think we will try something different here. I think we will go ahead and we will try to do that horse skull, that first one that we looked at. All right, so for this, you are going to need to use a pencil with an eraser and for you, I am going to be drawing with a pen so that you can see my lines easier, okay? But I want you to draw yours with a pencil. So follow my lead. Here we go. I'm going to zoom in nice and close and big for you, and let's go. Okay, so we're going to start up here, and then we're going to come out a little bit for the eye area like this. Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna come in a little bit like that. And then we're gonna come down again like this. And then on the same thing over here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come around because this is a skull, it should be very symmetrical, which means that we can divide it equally into two halves. So I'm gonna copy what I did on this half to this half over here. So I'm looking what I did over here and I'm trying to copy it on this side now. Okay, try to, it's like a mirror. If we had a mirror, it would be reflecting itself. That's called symmetrical. Okay, so here we have the basic outline of our horse skull. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the eyes. The horse's eyes are way up here. And remember, this is a skull, so they'll look a little different. Okay, and then the, the long snout. And then it kind of chipped away down here towards the bottom. And then it gets really dark down here. Like that right there. And then down here we have the little teeth. Well, actually, they're actually pretty big because I don't know if you've ever seen a horse's teeth, but they're pretty big. <laughs> and then we're going to draw, there's a little line up here that comes down by the nose snout. Kind of, it's kind of like a curly line. Oh, why is my, my pen stopped working? Here we go. Like that. And then there's another one on the other side that's similar. Just goes the opposite direction. There's a little dot up here by the eye. There's a little dot over here by the eye. Okay, so there is our horse skull. You can shade a little bit to show some shadows, 
Schau, 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 schau. <lacht> okay, so I'm gonna shade a little bit right here. Gonna shade a little bit here and here. This part's really dark right in here. Like it's underneath that nose part. And then right in here, it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna shade that in. And you can blend this with your finger since you're using a pencil. That'll really help the blending. And then even in here, it's a little bit shadowed. Okay. And then we're gonna put on our horse's head a beautiful flower. Okay, so to draw the flower, we're going to draw little repetitive shapes that look like this. Little ruffled up shapes. And this will be the flower on our horse skull's head, okay? And we want to leave the horse skull very pale and white because it's fossils, it's bones. But what I want you to do is in the background, I want you to paint using your watercolor paint, okay? So you can choose any color you want for that. I think I'm going to use the color violet. And I'm going to paint very carefully as I get close. And I'm going to try to go around. I'm going to try so hard to go around my skull. You know, it might even be a good idea to use a white crayon and to first color over your entire skull with that really fast because I think that might actually protect your skull from getting painted on to some extent. So I'm going to just rub over it really quick some wax of a white crayon. And I'm going to paint the background. And you can paint the background more than one color if you want. You decide. But do a good job. Okay, take your time. Be very careful as you go around your skull. I think purple, in my opinion, was a great choice for this one. Maybe you're doing yours blue, maybe, I don't know. It'll be really fun to see all the different ways that you choose to paint your background for your horse. And I love that there's a flower on top of the skull's head. It really shows appreciation for the beauty of the animal, even after the fact it has died. That is so cool. I'm gonna add just a touch of blue. Love it. That looks pretty cool. All right. And after that, that is done. And then I will see you next week and we will do the next one. Good job, art students.